World AIDS Day is observed all around the world on December 1st every year. It is a time for reflection, solidarity with those who are affected and their families, and it is a time to plan even more decisive actions. The theme for World AIDS Day 2022 is Equalize. Let us join our own local organizations, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the World Health Organization, UNAIDS, the Pan American Health Organization, and all those who have championed the HIV cause over the years in this year's observance. HIV is a virus which attacks the cells that help the body to fight infections. A person infected with HIV becomes vulnerable to other infections and diseases. HIV spreads when an uninfected person gets in contact with blood or fluids from someone with HIV. A person who has HIV most likely will develop AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Therefore, treatment is absolutely a must to prevent serious illness and even death. HIV medication, also known as antiretroviral treatment, is available to all persons living with HIV and is free of cost from all pharmacies that distribute HIV medication. Any person living with HIV can get their doctor's visits, monitoring tests, and other necessary medications from within the public system without any cost to them. Public services can be accessed within the sexual and reproductive health clinics by calling to make an appointment or by doing a walk-in in an emergency. There is help. Please access that help and let our medical professionals help you to have a better quality of life if you have become infected. A finger prick, a rapid HIV test, and 15 minutes is all it takes to find out whether you may or may not be infected. This is a free service provided by the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs. In addition to this service being available at the sexual and reproductive health clinics, you may access rapid HIV testing services in all eight health regions in St. Lucia. Medication to prevent the transmission of HIV, called PrEP, also known as pre-exposure prophylaxis, is also available, free of charge to the recipient. As of September 30th, 2022, there are 917 persons living with HIV in St. Lucia. Of them, 298 persons are in care. They are actively collecting HIV medication. 56% of them are male and 44% of them are female. There have been eight AIDS-related deaths in St. Lucia from January to October 31st, 2022. St. Lucia has come a very long way since diagnosing our first known case of HIV in 1985. All HIV prevention, testing, treatment and monitoring services are readily available and no one is denied access to those services. We have moved from no treatment for HIV to being able to treat all persons living with HIV in St. Lucia. This year, UNAIDS is urging all of us to tackle inequalities that help to perpetuate the AIDS pandemic. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic and other global crises have slowed the treatment and focus on HIV AIDS, causing many more people to be at risk. The international community hopes that by 2030, AIDS will no longer be a global health threat. To achieve this ambitious goal, we can work together with our local and regional partners to advance actions which will end stigma and discrimination. There is help for all. I urge all persons to reach out to our civil society organizations and health professionals to encourage safe practices and healthy lifestyles and help us all to equalize awareness, access to treatment and opportunities for all. Peace and love to all on this World AIDS Day 2022. I thank you.